here today we're at Tuffy Woodlands and it's amazing. Um, they've spent so much money, so much time, so much effort on, on building up the woods and things. Using, using the natural terrain around here and the background around here, the views and everything are perfect. Uh, it connects a brilliant walkway for, for anybody to use and at the same time they can view some, some pretty stupid mountain bikers at the same time. And to have both within two miles of each other and a five minute drive from home is with the luckiest people around. It's an obstacle course through the trees, challenging people, really good fun, really high as well, because people threw their paces. The end of the day is team building, you get people, groups coming down, helping each other through an activity, they really enjoy it. This area is amazing, it's a brilliant location, you've got all the lovely trees, you can see right out across the valley on the third course, it's really good, beautiful rotation. Well this is the Tavistock group of riding for the disabled, but riding for the disabled also includes carriage driving. And most of our carriage drivers are people who can, for one reason or another, cannot ride anymore. The Tavistock group has just this one pony on loan, and we have a specially built vehicle, the Bennington, which you see here, and we're fortunate enough to be allowed to use the woodlands. So this is just the most wonderful terrain for us because it's interesting and we can take wheelchair bound people where they might not be able to go in their wheelchair. We're just really fortunate to have this wonderful terrain to drive over. Today we're going for a walk through the Danescombe Valley. We've got the children with us, one of them's on his bike, one of them, one of them is on his unicycle and the other two are walking. So today we've come out to see the daffodils. Well, we're so lucky to have this on our doorstep really and it's, it's absolutely beautiful. And what's really lovely about this particular trail is that it changes with every season. You're just surrounded by incredible beauty all year round. When we rocked up yesterday there was well, you could hardly see as soon as we got in here. You couldn't, you could hardly see the engine house at all. We just walked in through the undergrowth, and I was just had to start chopping away, and then gradually, bit by bit, cutting bits down, and made a huge pile and burnt that away. I had a look on the Tamar Valley website and saw that I had an event on. Emailed Jenny, and she said, "Come down and help." It's just a bit of satisfaction, really, just a bit of constructive work in the valley, and just putting something back. I mean, I spend a lot of time walking and cycling here, so it's quite good to see something like this. I'm here helping out, clearing some ground here at wonderful Clitter's Mine with all its fantastic mining history and this wonderful crowd of volunteers, we all work hard. This was so overgrown that you couldn't see the mine buildings. It's a wonderful place, it's got spirit, it's got history, it's got everything.